Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sick Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to fix when your PlayStation 5 is stuck in safe mode. So let's go ahead and jump to the video right now. So if you're stuck in the safe mode and you only have like option number like seven available to you and you don't see all these other options and your controller simply doesn't work, well, I want you to go ahead and manually turn off your PlayStation 5 and launch it into safe mode. All right, so here is my PlayStation 5, and I'm gonna hold down the power button right here. So I will hear one beep initially, and then I should hear another beep like five to 10 seconds later. So I want you to turn off your PlayStation 5. Now my PlayStation 5 is turned off right now, but to turn it off when it's in safe mode, hold down the power button, and you will hear one beep, and you'll notice your PlayStation 5 is turning off. So once our PlayStation 5 is turned off, and there's no light on the light bar here, we can manually put it into safe mode ourselves, and we should get more options then. So my PS5 is turned off, and I'm gonna hold down the power button. We will hear one beep initially, and then we will hear another beep like five to 10 seconds later. So when I hear this second beep, I'm gonna let go. Then go ahead and plug in your controller with a USB cable to operate the safe mode menu. I can see my controller is plugged in because it's charging. Now I'm gonna press the PlayStation button, and it should turn teal. And we can operate the safe mode menu by pressing the PlayStation button now and then using the D-pad. So let's go back over to the safe mode menu. Now you should see all seven options under the safe mode menu. The first thing I want you to try is going down to option number five, clear cache and rebuild database. And go to option one under here, clear the system software cache. And this will restart your PlayStation 5. And this will be equivalent to unplugging your PlayStation from the wall outlet for approximately one to two minutes. So go ahead and see if this works. Then if it doesn't, go on down to option number two, rebuild database. Now, if you do have any kind of like hard drive issues or copying or installing issues, this should go ahead and fix that as well. And it says it may take a few hours, but my experience only takes like five minutes. But this will restart your PlayStation 5 and give you an estimated amount of time of how long it's going to take. It should only take like five minutes. Then also under this menu, we could try changing the video output. Maybe we have a black screen on our PlayStation 5 and going to safe mode has a lower resolution, which our monitor picks up. And our PlayStation 5 is set to like 4K and our TV only outputs 1080p. Well, it's going to come up as a black screen. So change your resolution to a lower resolution or change the HDCP mode, which is your copyright protection. Maybe you have some sort of copyrighted stuff on your PlayStation 5 and you're using like a capture card or a pass through of something and it simply is not allowing a screen to be shown. Then we could also try going to reset PS5. This will delete all users and all data off our PlayStation 5 but this should go ahead and work for you. Now, if you do have an external hard drive, most of the games on there should be good to go, but the internal hard drive games will be deleted. Also, if you do have PlayStation Plus, everything should be backed up to the cloud, and you should just have to download those once you go ahead and reset your PlayStation 5 and log in with your email and password. So you shouldn't have to worry about losing game data, you just have to be worried about re-downloading the games in the future. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, go leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.